Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, hi, I'm Nishita, and thank you so much for clicking on this video. Today's video is going to be my uh, boxy charm unboxing. If you guys don't know what boxy charm is, it's a monthly subscription beauty box uh, where you pay twenty two dollars a month and you get products sent over that are worth over one hundred dollars every month. You get uh, five full size products. Sometimes they give uh, six full size products. So the way I do my unboxing is uh, I use all the products that are inside the box uh, when I sit down to get ready for this video. So as I walk through the products, I can give you guys mini reviews of what I think about the products. So that's what I'm going to do today. The box has a theme every month. So this month's theme is Boxy Bash. So you usually get five products, but today we have six products. So the first product in this is the Pure Sculptor Palette, a four shade sculpting palette that features two high beam highlighters and two matte contour shades that will leave skin sculpted to perfection with highly pigmented and buttery formulas. So this is the palette that I use to contour and I use the highlights in this as well. So these are the swatches. So these two are the highlighter shades and these two are the contour shades. They're pretty cool toned. So you cannot use them as bronzers, but they're perfect for contouring. So this is how the palette looks like. Uh, the contour shades are a little bit deep uh, for my skin tone as well. So if you have deeper skin tones than I do, this would be a perfect product, but they're just a little bit too dark for my liking. Uh, but they blend out really well. The formula is really creamy as they say. I'm not like super impressed by the highlighters because they're a little bit too powdery for my liking. But they're very subtle highlighters. You definitely have to build them up. Uh, so all in all, it's a good palette. Uh, it's not something that I don't already own or it's not something that I'm like super impressed with. Uh, and this sculpting palette retails for $30. The next product that I have is from the brand Cover FX. It's their blurring primer. A blurring primer that instantly minimizes the appearance of pores and fine lines to create a super smooth, uh, flawless, airbrushed look. So I use this as my primer today. I don't have like large pores on my skin, so I couldn't actually see if it did anything uh, pore minimizing wise. But I have uh, smile lines and I don't think it did a really good job uh, covering my fine lines because when I applied my foundation it did settle into my smile lines uh, but all in all it's a primer that actually smooths out your skin really well but it is not hydrating so if you have dry skin you probably might not like this but if you have large pores this might do a good job uh, like filling in the pores. This has a slight tint to it. I don't know if you can see. And this reminds me of the Benefit Professional. Uh, but I'm going to have to use this a little bit more to see if it's actually worth the money. Because this one retails for $38. Next product that I have is from the brand Pretty Vulgar. It's their Ink Gel Eyeliner. This highly pigmented gel eyeliner provides quick drying application with enriched vitamin C to condition the lids. Its creamy and water resistant formula allows for smooth application that stays in place all day. So I use this uh, to do my wing today. This one would have to be my favorite of all the products that were sent in this month's box. Uh, it glides on really well. If you're a beginner, I think this would be a great product for you uh, because you just don't have to put in any efforts to apply this to your eyes. It just glides on really smooth. It's very pigmented. Uh, it's like super black. This is like a perfect eyeliner and I even like the packaging. It reminds me of an ink pot that people used to use in olden days to, you know, write letters and stuff. So yeah, I really love this product. And this one retails for $24. And the next product is from the brand Aesthetica. It's their three-piece uh, eye trio. Uh, it came with a spoolie, an angled brush, and also a fine-tipped eyeliner brush. So these are supposed to be for your eyebrows, but I personally uh, would not use something like this fat uh, to fill in my eyebrows because the shape is a little bit hard to work with. But if you're in a rush and if you just want to like quickly use a powder and fill in your brows, this would be great for that. And I use this eyeliner brush to do my wing liner today and it's very precise, it's very pointed. So if you like a sharp wing, uh, this will do the job for you. This is a really good brush. I didn't get to use this pulley today because I had already done my brows in the morning. But uh, the quality of this seems really good as well. And this whole set uh, retails for $45. 
And the next product that we have is also from the brand Aesthetica. It's their uh, face brush and the name of this brush is P12. So this is a perfect powder brush just to like you know dust powder all over your face because it's not too densely packed and I love this to apply my blush as well. It applied the product really well. This is what I used to apply my blush today and it blends out the product really well the brush is like so soft uh, and this one retails for 27 dollars the next and the last product in the box is from the brand a beauty creations it's the liquid lip gloss uh, it's a matte lip gloss specifically formulated to provide full coverage that dries to a seamless smooth and matte finish it's lightweight application is long wearing for an effortless lip color that complements all skin tones i don't know why it's called lip gloss because it dries down to a complete matte finish uh, it is not like super drying on the lips but at the same time it's not hydrating as well uh, you want to make sure that you uh, moisturize your lips really well before you apply this because it, it feels a little bit dry on the lips but the color is super pretty nice a uh, berry pink uh, which i love and this one retails for ten dollars so i did the math and the overall value of this month's box is 174 dollars which is pretty high because because the box usually ranges in between like hundred and one fifty dollars favorites would have to be the gel liner and the brushes so yeah that completes this video I hope you guys enjoyed the mini reviews of the products that were inside the box uh, thank you so much for watching please subscribe if you haven't already and I will see you all in my next one bye